Hi, and welcome to 4 Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. In this video, we'll show you how you can add information to your Notion database and move it around. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life. We have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. Subscribe to 4 Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Once you've got a database set up, you have two ways to add data to the database here in Notion. Now, if you need a tutorial on how to get your initial database set up, check a link below for creating a database in Notion, another video that we have. So here's the database that we created in the last video, ideas to consider. And now we just start, need to start putting data into it. So two ways, the first way is I can just click on one of the rows and I can start, I can start to fill it out. I'll put an idea in there. I want to write a novel. I'm going to put today's date because that's when I'm putting this idea in. Uh, notes, I'm going to write it about Pacific Grove, California, a place that we love. Maybe I have some URLs and I can do that and then I can write another uh, idea and another idea. And once I've filled this out, I can just click on this new and I get more and more rows. I can I can infinitely add rows to this database, right? So it never gets full. So that's one way. The second way is when I hover over the database, I can see there's a new button here. And when I click on new, it opens up a page. Now we'll get to pages in a little bit, but this page, I'm going to put the uh, idea here in the title, learn a new language. I'm gonna say, this is for work. And you'll notice that these fields are exactly the same fields that were in the previous view of the database. I'm going to say French and Arabic. Maybe I have some URLs, but importantly, when I'm on this page, I can put in any kinds of information that I want. I can write a script. I can write paragraphs. I can even add a database if I wanted to, uh, a database inside a database, right? So there is no limit to how much information I can store in this. And when I click away from it, you'll see that now learn a language, uh, that idea is now the top item. Uh, when I click down here, this row adds a new row at the bottom, but when I click here, it adds a new item, a new row on the very top. Now you can reorder rows. We'll grab this one. We're going to move it down, right? You can just reorder rows by grabbing the six dots, or also you can delete a row, we'll delete this one that's blank by clicking on the six dots and then you get this option to delete. So now you have two, I way, uh, two ways to add data to your database and how additional information on a page associated with each item and how to move rows. I forgot to tell you one important thing. When you hover over the idea, you'll see you can open up this page. This is the page we were just on, but even if I don't have a page, I can open this up and it comes up as a brand new page. So this is where I can just use this database and write information this way as a quick way to add data. But then when I want to expand it, I can open it up and I can put more and more and more information onto it. So now you know those two ways to add information, how to move rows and how to delete items to your database and how powerful pages can be. So if you have questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it to the comments below and be sure to check out our other four minute answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, see you soon.